Thank you for joining me today. My name is Noel Mosley. I am with the MSX Group, and this recording session is on Microsoft Forecaster 7.0 and ways for updating data in the budget. Now, if you're using Microsoft Forecaster to complete your budget, there are two main tables in the database. Uh, the first one is the main budget table, which is where you um, predominantly have all the raw data for the account balances. And then we have the reporting table, which is really uh, everything that you have in the main budget table, plus a lot of summary data for reporting purposes. Now, data goes back and forth between the two. Mainly, it goes from main budget table to the reporting table. There is an option on reports that you can run a report and then change data in the report and have it saved back to the main budget table as well. The main way of getting data into the main budget and changing data in the main budget is the multi-row input screens. Multi-row input screens will have account numbers running down the left-hand side of the screen. You'll have columns, which are typically monthly columns. They might be annual columns or quarterly columns. And the data you type in there will be stored in the main budget table and copied to the reporting table. Your users will open up this uh, main row, uh, multi-row input screens. They'll either use formulas for uh, changing or updating values there, or just typing in the, uh, the, the dollar amounts or stats. There's also several ways to update the data or mani manipulate the data in the multi-row input screens. You have line item details, single row input, HR detail, capital and revenue detail. Line item detail will let you add details to any individual account on the multi-row input screens. So if you have a travel account on multi-row and you don't want to just type in um, $5,000 for travel, you want to break it down between several different trips. Uh, you can add line item details to that travel account. Uh, you might have uh, five rows there, $1,000 each. Uh, row one might be Vegas, Lo row two might be Atlanta, DC, New York, and uh, wherever else. And then those will roll up to the account level balance. So that's line item detail. Very easy way to add uh, a breakdown to your account balances. Single row input will let you budget for individual accounts. It will let you compare that, uh, your budgeting numbers to a baseline, which might be last year's actuals, it might be last year's budget or forecast or anything else. And you'll compare that to the baseline for the budget. Uh, and keep track of a dollar variance and a percent variance. And you could also budget by percentages, percent changes, or uh, dollar changes. <clears throat> HR detail will let you import your existing employees into Forecaster. And you can also budget for um, additional new hires as well. The HR detail will populate wages, taxes, and benefits, and all the accounts that you might have listed on the multi row input screen. Capital detail will let you budget for new assets that you're adding during the budget season. This will book the cost to the cost account for those assets and book depreciation expense to the depreciation expense account. Revenue detail will let you break down your revenue budget into um, markets and products and then you can budget for the revenue dollars as well as cost of goods sold or anything else related to that revenue budget. All five of these manipulate or change or alter the data in the multi-row input screens. There's also a lot of other options for getting data into Forecaster or manipulating data inside Forecaster. Uh, you've got options for importing data, adjustments wizard, express link, transaction batches, journal entries, and allocations. Importing, you can import account balances, you can import HR detail, capital detail, revenue detail, line item detail. Uh, you just have to get that data into a tab delimited text file or fixed width uh, text file and then import that into Forecaster. The adjustments wizard is a very easy way to adjust balances inside the budget either up and down by percentages or up and down by dollar amounts. You can do that for individual accounts, multiple accounts, multiple centers, or for the whole company at one time. Express Link will let you hook up to your general ledger directly through FRX and this will let you import account IDs, descriptions, and your other segment IDs and descriptions as well as the account balances. For Express Link you have to be using Microsoft FRX as well. Transaction batches and journal entries um, will let you bring balances into Forecaster. Transaction batches uh, will let you overwrite 
existing balances inside Forecaster. Journal entries, however, will adjust existing balances in Forecaster. And as allocations will let you book uh, like a lump sum to a given center, and then you can run a task that will allocate that money out to other centers and accounts based on a fixed percentage or the value of some other account. So these are a lot of options for manipulating data inside Microsoft Forecaster. You have a lot of flexibility. It just goes back to you have to figure out what you want to change and then from all your available options consider which way is the best way to change that data. It's a very flexible tool and application. Uh, it works very well with a lot of possibilities. I've got some uh, additional information for um, others if you're interested. Uh, visit our website at msxgroup.com. We have a group uh, or an account on twitter.com, it's msxgroup. On linkedin.com we have a users group, Microsoft Forecaster users group, uh, with discussion boards and news articles. And you can also feel free to email me at noah.mosley at msxgroup.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day.